from anti-piracy operations off the coast of East Africa to diplomatic duties in Portsmouth. And the crew of the Chinese task force were met by some proper British weather. China's more used to fighting on land than at sea, but now it's the world's largest trading nation and has global interests to protect. Who better to learn from than the Navy, which once helped Britannia rule the waves? Whatever you are, so this is good for Britain, you know better than I do. China insists that a strong Navy is a force for peace in the world. The ambassador talked about building strategic trust. People should not be worried about China, you know, uh, to have a big Navy. We are a large country to defend. So first of all, Chinese Navy for the defense of China. Secondly, they are engaged with other countries. This visit is all about understanding and cooperation, but Chinese officers have long memories. The Royal Navy defeated China twice in the 19th century with ships not much different from that. And they seized Hong Kong and they forced open Chinese ports to British goods. In this century, things look very different. China is building a world-beating navy, alarming its neighbors by spending more on its military than all of them combined. I think I'm so proud of my country. Awesome. Summing up the mood of the Chinese patriots on the dockside. They may be the rising naval power in the world, but there's still respect for the one which ruled the waves for more than a century. Carrie Gracie, BBC News, Portsmouth.